AI planners are using the generation of action sequences in robots, such as the Freddy 2 hand-eye assembly robot displayed here in the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh. This version of Freddy from four decades ago had a large fixed mounted arm with sophisticated touch sensitive grippers and a side mounted camera to look at its world. Instead of the robot moving to reach objects, the platform underneath the robot was shifted instead. Freddy was demonstrated on flexible assembly tasks involving simple toy cars and boats. The video playing is taken from a 16mm film of a Freddy project demonstration made in 1973. Freddy had to identify jumbled up parts via vision, unscramble the parts and then assemble them to create the required product. Some parts in the area didn't belong to the target assembly. In one project, the Edinburgh Nonlin AI planner was used to generate object construction and arm movement sequences for Freddy. In its time, Freddy was one of the most sophisticated robots in the world. The Stanford Research Institute Problem Solver, STRIPS, is one of the best known and most influential AI planners, and you'll learn about it on this course. Despite it being created over 40 years ago, it was already in use to control the activity of a robot called Shaky at the Stanford Research Institute, which is now called SRI International. STRIPS had many interesting features, including using theorem proving techniques to reason about the state at points in the plan. STRIPS gave us a representation of actions with preconditions and effects. It had a mechanism called MACROPS for generalization of its operators and it included execution support facilities to deal with partial failures. Shaky is now on display at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. As we saw, Freddy included an early robot arm, but as you can see here, technology has come a long way. For example, this modern research robotic arm has many more capabilities. Obviously, there's a lot more to robotics than just activity planning, and there are significant challenges in terms of vision, mechanical issues, and spatial reasoning, including locating the robot and tracking other objects. But planning is a key aspect of intelligent behavior. Not every robot has the kind of activity planner we are describing on this course, that is, one which can plan from first principles. But robots typically do have plans, perhaps pre-compiled ones, that they use to control their behavior. Yeah. AI planners have been used in much more recent robots also, of course, such as in some humanoid robots and the robots used in the annual RoboCup Soccer League teams. Here, planning may have to cover the coordination of different robots with different roles. And the robots themselves can have planners on board that adjust their behaviors dynamically. But planners have been used in different kind of robots too. For example, an onboard planner and reactive execution agent was used to autonomously control the NASA Deep Space One spacecraft for periods in its flight to rendezvous with a comet. AI planners have been used to provide adaptability and flexibility to robots in the past and in the present, in the factory, in the home, and in outer space. And it's an area in which they will be put to good use tomorrow. We hope you'll be part of creating this future.